A debatable question that has circled many times among men is whether having a vasectomy will increase their odds of developing prostate cancer. Is this true, or is it a misconception regarding this disease? Prostate cancer has its fair share of misconceptions. Lack of knowledge, misinformation found on the internet, and myths regarding the disease are common among men. Men who are uniformed are at a disadvantage in knowing the truth about what to look for, what to do, and who to seek out accurate advice from regarding prostate cancer. Why do men have vasectomies? Men worldwide have relied on the SNP or a vasectomy, making it one of the most common and popular birth control options for men who no longer wish to father children. In the US alone, more than half a million men each year seek out doctors who do vasectomies. Generally a safe, affordable, outpatient procedure, a vasectomy involves severing the male vas deferens, which prevents sperm from being released in semen. Yet, within the past years, certain studies have questioned the safety of vasectomies, causing controversy over whether they increase the risk of prostate cancer. What the research says. The controversy of the association of men who have had vasectomies are at a higher risk for the second leading cause of cancer death in men was a 2014 study that suggested vasectomies raise the odds of men getting prostate cancer. In 2016, the American Cancer Society conducted a study finding that found the opposite. Vasectomies do not increase prostate cancer. This study reviewed data from 1982 that looked at the relationship between prostate cancer and vasectomies. During the 30 years of research, scientists with the study found no correlation that supported vasectomies increasing a man's risk for prostate cancer. Then, in 2017, a study published in the JAMA Internal Medicine found no association between vasectomy and high-grade, advanced stage, or fatal prostate cancer. However, a more recent 2021 study published in Prostate Cancer and Prostatic Diseases concluded that men who've had a vasectomy appear to have an associated risk of any form of prostate cancer and advanced prostate cancer. This meta-analysis reviewed a total of 58 studies involving almost 17 million participants. As you can see, there are still conflicting studies in which some say yes, vasectomies cause prostate cancer and other studies that say no, vasectomies are not a cause of prostate cancer. What should men do? Since no study will ever be 100% absolute, the best advice for men on the never-ending debate over vasectomies and prostate cancer is to speak with their doctor. Asking questions, especially for men with hesitations, can help answer men's concerns over the procedure and their likelihood of developing prostate cancer. In the meantime, certain lifestyle tips men should adhere to may reduce their risk of prostate cancer. These tips include the following. Plan healthy meals and snacks, eat more fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, unprocessed meats and poultry, and drink plenty of water daily. Exercise most days, if not all, of the week, include aerobic, strength training, flexibility, balance, and stretching for a well-rounded fitness routine. Don't smoke, men who currently smoke should discuss with their doctor a plan to quit. Get a yearly PSA test beginning at age 40, the prostate-specific antigen, PSA, blood test is a quick and easy test and an important screening tool helping find prostate cancer at earlier, more treatable stages.